In this episode, we learn how to control images and videos in OBS using StreamerBot. Be it a cat jam, a dog jam, or an awesome steggy stomp. Hello, and welcome to StreamerBot Bytes, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome StreamerBot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier to get started and to add functionality to your stream. Let's get started with the topic for this video. To be able to control images and videos using StreamerBot, you need to first have OBS connected. If you haven't done this already, please check out StreamerBot Bytes episode 11 to show you how to do this. What we need to do next is to set up OBS. Now, typically when we are wanting to add in an animation or video of some kind to OBS, we want to use it on multiple scenes. So we have here two scenes, scene one and scene two, with the numbers on the scene, just so we can see the change when we change between them. And I'd recommend highly to create a, another scene, I'm gonna call it alerts for this example. And within this, we'll be adding in the sources. So any videos, any animated images, for example, we're gonna be using into that alert scene. And what both OBS and other uh, like slobs will allow you to add in a source as a scene. So you can add in the alerts into both scene one and there we go, into scene two. Let me give that a moment just to catch up. There we go. So anything that's in the alert scene will automatically display in both scene one and scene two. So if you want to be doing a, an image for a particular event, we can make sure that hits in multiple scenes just by adding one additional scene in as a source. At this point, we can actually just go to the alert scene and add in the sources. Now, fortunately, this is super easy. We can actually just drag and drop the elements we want to go in there. I'll just drag three options in there, two GIF files and one video. So I'm gonna close that down for now. So I want the dog jam to be over here, this size, cat jam, over here and the video is going to need to put that so it takes up the whole screen there I think that looks good now there we go so we've got the positioning right we've got the size how we want I'm going to hide all those because what we're going to do with StreamerBot is going to enable showing these and hiding them whenever you want to see dog jam there cat jam and the stomp. And that's a, a Steggy stomp from Steglosaurus, great streamer. And uh, so it's a great video to want to show this. So we just drag it across, put them in position, and we hide them. And that's OBS set up with. It's worthwhile noting if you want to listen to the video, you should show the video so you can actually get the item in the audio mixer. Select Advanced Audio Properties, and within here to select Monitor Only Mute Output. That means that when you enable it, we get the sound that comes along with it. So we're going to start off with the Cat Jam action. So as before, right click in the actions and add, give it a name, and then sub actions. Within that, we've got OBS. And what we want to look at here is the source visibility state. So you saw before in OBS, I was toggling the eye icon. That's basically what the streamer bot can do remotely. And we're gonna select the cat jam GIF. I'm going to make it visible. I'm then gonna add another action as a delay. And we're gonna leave that for three seconds, that's so 3,000 milliseconds. I'm going to add in OBS visibility state again. 
of the cat jam, but we're going to hide it. So what this action is going to do is going to show the cat jamming for three seconds and then it's going to stop it. So it's a very, very simple way to control this. Now we can do the same with the dog jam. So you can make add in the source visibility state. This time the dog jam. Another tip for this is you can duplicate it, edit the action and change it to hidden. And then after that, add in delay. So this time, three seconds, oh, three seconds properly this time. Dog jam setup. And finally, steggy stomp. Again, OBS set source visibility state to visible. Print the delay. This time we'll do about uh, just under two seconds for this one. And duplicate again, hide. So now we set up the actions. We want to set up commands for them. Quite simply. Use command as before. Pick the action, so cat jam. I'm going to let everyone do this. Dog jam. Again, everyone can do that. And finally, stomp. It's worth on noting, by default, you could run these actions at the same time, so they could be all showing on the screen. It's uh, built-in functionality of Streamerbot that allows you to have your own separate queues. So you can add in, what quotes queues might help. There we go. So we can add in a blocking queue it blocking. This means that only one action can run at a time. So if you have multiple actions called, it's going to wait for the previous one to be run. So for something like this, you might want to put it into the, the queue there for a blocking queue. This is something you, you might want to consider. We're not going to do that for today, just for testing, but now we have this set up and we're ready to test. So we know we just need to run the commands to have a cat jam, dog jam, and finally, a great stomp. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you like covered, please do let me know in the comments or also on Discord. Check my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. So the links to my Twitch, social media, and to Streamerbot can be found at brflad.com. Additional links to others that provide Streamerbot content can be found in the description too. Finally, thank you so much to Nate for making a great bot. Please do consider supporting his Patreon, which is linked from streamer.bot.